Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. hours of 2015 two more hours to go we have completed 22 hours we're entering hour number 23 but we've got to raise more money for unicef two more hours there's only one more hour for the auction i want everybody to go here unicefusa.org slash twit hey let's refresh the page and see what we got how, how many how much money have we raised here refresh the page we are up to 50, the same amount, 56,000, we'd already refreshed it, $264, yeah! And that includes $300 from the guy who just tattooed my butt. So that was awfully nice of him. We really appreciate that. Thank you, Justin. Uh, we also have those great Twit auctions, and this is, like I said, the last hour. So go right now to twit.tv slash eBay. Remember, we're raising money for the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF. It is a great cause. 91% of every dollar raised goes directly to the kids to help them with education, medical supplies, clean water, even simple, inexpensive things that can make such a huge difference, like mosquito netting and, 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 and proper sanitation, uh, educational supplies, the school in the box program. There's so many great programs at UNICEF, and this money is going to make such a difference. We want to make the world a better place for kids. 2015 don't we so let's do our best raise some money buy some items at the auction make your bid it's a lot of fun we've got some great items unicefusa.org slash twit to make your dollar contribution we uh you know we raised forty thousand dollars that's when i shaved my head and you know people are saying you should shave it more i'm gonna get the break out the harry's i'm gonna make this as bald as a cue ball you think I, that'd be i think that'd be a good idea don't you think and then the, and then everybody said oh leo you probably wouldn't tattoo your butt for fifty thousand dollars i said heck yes and now i can't sit down <laughs> so we're gonna go on sixty thousand dollars paul shaves his head seventy thousand dollars i don't know will we get to seventy thousand you think we can do it let's see unicef you don't think chris Ye of little faith. He's shaking his head. No. UNICEFUSA.org. Oh, the young people today, they're so cynical. Slash twit. It's really for a great cause. We're going to have a lot of fun. Petaluma Pete is here. He is an absolute gem. He's one of the reasons we love Petaluma so much. In fact, 20 years ago, when Jennifer, my wife at the time, and I came down here with our daughter, Abby, she's about a year old. In fact, she's around here somewhere. She's 23 now. We came down here, and we were walking down the mall on Kentucky Street, one of the cutest, sweetest places in Petaluma. And there was a guy there, old guy, he's probably no longer around, playing a musical saw. And I remember our two-year-old, Abby, going up to the guy and dancing to the musical saw. And I looked at Jennifer, and I said, that's it. We're moving to Petaluma, wow. and we have never regretted it. We love it. And now, new generations hear you, Petaluma Pete, playing your piano on the streets of Petaluma. How many days a week do you do that? Well, uh, when Mama lets me up, and it's not raining, it's every Friday and Saturday night from 6 to 9. Mm -hmm. And then there are times also that I'll just go out in the daytime randomly because I have five pianos all I over town. all the time now, yeah. yeah. Friday and Saturday night, 6 to 9. Yep. And it's usually the downtown Petaluma area. Yeah, just about. Large. I do outside things. I got a truck. I do all that. But That's great. Well, and you came here, and I appreciate it. Did you actually roll this piano all the way down the street? <laughs> I pushed it all the way from Buffalo Billiards. Oh, we can help you get it back, right? All right. We're gonna, not tonight. Not tonight. You want to leave it here tonight? <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. That's a great idea. How about some more music for Petaluma Pete? What do you say? Petaluma Pete, take Thanks. it away.
Um, I uh, did a little DJ work tonight, and uh, we counted down the hours at another location, and I played Imagine uh, while the while the clock turned over to the new year. And uh, you know, it's all about peace. So I'd like to do my favorite Beatles song for you, please, in honky tonk style, admittedly. That is an amazing thing. That is, uh, of course, day in the life. Uh, I thought you were going to play Imagine. Who knew you could play day in the life on the honky tonk piano? I think that John Lennon would approve. I really believe I that. I love it. He had a great, uh, uh, I think, uh, love of the music hall. Oh yeah. And and of course, early British music hall had that kind of feeling. He was a honky tonker. He was a honky tonker. <laughs> so I think that is great. I, how did you? Did you do the arrangement, or how did you do? Yeah, that? just picked it up. You know, uh, Kia C. Everybody, I'm a phony and a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> well, you fooled you fooled me, Petaluma Pete. That is a beautiful piece. I really. Do you ever play that on the streets? Yes, sir. And I'm, people must go crazy when they at first you go, oh, well, that's just some honky tonk song. And then you hear it, and you didn't, and then, and Oh, yeah, there's uh, anything really honest now, I mean this, anything that is John Lennon influenced, you can look across the street and you know who knows. Yeah. You know, yeah. because they stop. It's amazing. Right? They do. Yeah. The rest well, of the just keep walking. That's wonderful. Uh, how much do you have more? How much more do you have in you? Well, I got hours, so, you know. <laughs> you, well, things slow down a little bit you're gonna at, this, have to stop at me. this time of the evening. Believe me, I won't stop you. Okay. We have one more caller we're going to do at 2 o'clock. We have a few more things between now and then, including Rock Band. I think we want to repeat a uh, video that we found in the basement of the very first twit. It's wow. An I mean, it's a historical record. Of course, we're closing in on our 10th anniversary. So this, you're going to, if you've never seen this, this, this is amazing. And then I think we'll do our caller at 2 and then what I think we'll do is bedtime stories. Oh. I'd like to read you a couple of bedtime stories. We'll put everybody, we'll calm everybody down. Maybe we'll gather the children around. They can get in their jammies. You too, Chris. And we'll, and we'll read you some bedtime stories, and then we'll call it. I'm looking for some salesmen. 
<laughs> what, what do I have to sell? Pianos? <laughs> Pedal and repeat. Let's have another song. You are the greatest. <laughs> so that's Thanks. all coming up. Then there was George Harrison. And then this is another favorite that uh, the people across the street, down the street, those who know, stop in their tracks. It's really great to watch.
Thank you. Our dancers in here. We want to thank the onesie dancers. The onesies. This was <laughs> this was almost hallucinogenic. I don't know about you, but for those of us who lived through a certain period of time, I feel like we've got Josh and Vanessa. We've got Grog. Grog's got du what is that? Spartan duckies. Is that is the strangest headphones. thing. No, yeah. Duckies. With the uh, with the uh, what is it? George Frank, Robert Frank, Herman Frank, Bob Frank. Sock Paul oh, Frank, Frank Sock Monkeys, <laughs> Karsten Bonnie, and I like the little bunny hat. That's a nice kind of personalization <laughs> twist. Carly Perkins, we've seen her with the wolves and the foxes. What does the fox say, Carly? I've been meaning to ask you that. You've got the jammies. And then finally, oh. wait a minute, it's Batman and Jerry Wagley. And Jerry, I don't think you got the message. We're not looking for your long underwear. <laughs> My long cotton drawer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. He's got he's oh, actually got, oh, he's got thank a back you. Thank get you for that sharing. was nice shot. Come here, Glenn Rubenstein. He's happy in his happy face once. <laughs> Did we all bring our jammies just because we knew we'd be up late? Somebody should have told me to bring my onesie. Uh yeah, that's what everybody says. As if, you know. Pedal and Pete, do you have one more song you'd like to play? Given sure. that you've got the onesie orchestra here to uh, back you up. <laughs> yeah, as, as a matter of fact, yes. How did I know you'd find something? I'm going to do something for you guys and dedicate it to Joe Cocker. <laughs> the late, okay. great Joe Cocker. The late, Cocker. great Joe Cocker. Is that cool? Yeah. Because i got to mean this. You guys really are. Oh, jeez. I'm so jo I hate every one of you. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. Don't take it personal. You are so beautiful no sh <laughs> You are so beautiful I have to find a rhyme for it Can't you see? Indeed. Petaluma Pete, everybody. Woo! Yeah. Thank you, Petaluma Pete. You are the greatest. We won't keep you any later. You've been up late. Uh, we, so much uh, is trouble a... you have. <laughs> Go home. Go home, young man. To... <laughs> Thank you. Peace out. All right. We are doing the next thing on the agenda. Remember now, we are here for 24 hours. Say again? Why is he rock band? We're doing rock band. Why is it rock band? Padre's got limited bandwidth. Okay. G Bird is not playing. Padre could do it by phone. Anyway, let me just say what we have to say here, which is that you only have 40 minutes left on our auction at twit.tv slash NYE. 40 minutes left. And there are so many great things on there. And we and of course the higher the bid, the more money goes to UNICEF. You've got those limited edition autographed Leo Laporte bobbleheads. The one-of-a-kind etched twit mugs. Look at that, $122. That's fantastic. A year membership at IT Pro TV. $240, bucks, that's a great deal. $212. Thank you, IT Pro TV. Even a premium lifetime membership at a great price going for that. Lynda.com. We've got memberships there as well. Joby, thank you for the smartphone bundle. We've got three of those. Uh, actually, we've got a DSLR, an action camera bundle, and a smartphone bundle. The Twit Fezes, these are limited edition. We talked to Fezerama earlier, and he only has a little bit more of that blue velvet. These are the classic Twit Fezes, and you'll be one of the only ones left to have one of these great classic Twit Fezes. We also have iFixit Pro Tech Toolkits signed by the iFixit team. That is really special. Uh, and I'm recording your outgoing voicemail if you bid high. And you've got to do it now because there's only a little bit of time left. How would you like me to re record your voicemail or your answering machine message? I'd be glad to do it if you give us enough money for UNICEF. You have to be the high bidder, though, and you have only about 40 minutes left to bid. 
We have, I think, going to have a little bit of rock band-itis here because it is getting late in the Brick House. And, you know, people are working so late today. I really want to thank everybody. Many of our staff have been here since we started at 3 in the morning. Actually, we started about 2.45 in the morning. Thank you, Chris. I really appreciate it. Chris is just an intern, but that's how dedicated so many of our staffers are. Uh, we really appreciate it. it. It's a lot of fun doing to it. It's great to have this clubhouse that we call the Brick House Studios and to do something like this, which really takes advantage of the capabilities of the Brick House Studios. But none of this would make any sense if it weren't for you. So for those of you in the chat room, we love you. For those of you watching all over the world, thank you so much. And especially for those of you who've contributed tonight uh, to benefit the United uh, Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF. Boy, we raised a lot of money. We're close to... How, what is the latest amount at UNICEFUSA.org slash twit? Can you give me the latest? Because I want to see if we're hit $60,000. If we did, Paul Thorat's going to have to shave his head on the next one. Oh, we are so close. I would love to cross 60 before we go to bed tonight. Can we do it? $56,729. We are only $3,300 away. Can we do it? Can we do it? I think we can. And I, by the way, I know so many of you already dug deep. And for those of you who have, thank you very much. Those of you who haven't, please help us out. Even 10 bucks. UNICEFUSA.org slash twit. If everybody who enjoyed the show and watched the show over the last 23 hours donated 10 bucks, we'd have millions of dollars. So I know not every one of you has, has given yet. Hey, if it's tough times, I understand. But if you can spare 10 bucks, UNICEFUSA.org slash twit. We all, we thank you so much. All right, we are going to get our, uh, our, um, <laughs> our jammy-suited rock band together. This is, this is a whole new look for a rock and roll band, I think. Uh, on lead uh, guitar, is that right? We have uh, Mr. Karsten Bondi. Uh, on, on a fa are you on bass or are you on guitar? I'm on bass. On bass, ladies and gentlemen. He's an actual entertainer and performer himself in his own right, Glenn Rubenstein. Many of you may remember his rap group. What is the name? I forgot. Headboard. Headboard? <laughs> really? Yeah. Were you the lead singer of Headboard? I was the, the co MC. The, the MC. MC, did you have a name like NC Glenn Grubb? Get into that. <laughs> you did have a name, didn't you? All right, okay. Uh, lying on the ground and playing the keyboards, <laughs> you've got Greg Burnett, Grog to his friends, and finally, on drums, say it with me. I'm Batman. It's Anthony Nielsen. That is a objection. I'm sorry. I gave away a secret identity. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Bruce. I mean, uh, whatever your name is. So, um, do you actually sleep in that mask, or uh, you take it off? Uh, all right. Now, what, what what song are you guys? Who's the lead? Uh, who's the lead of this group? Oh, you want me to sing? Every year, Jerry does sing. Uh, so let me uh, come on over here. Crazy train. No, I think, do you have uh, You'll Never Walk Alone? I do you think have that's that? a rock band. That, I mean, strangely, <laughs> I somehow escaped it. <laughs> I don't want to block uh, Batman. But we've got credit on here. We can buy any song this that we have, like, Down Under. I, think it's uh, I, I come from the land Down Under where women roar and men thunder, that song? Yes. I know you're going to go be uh, seen calling, hey, you know, at... Uh, you at you the, sing that song. I come from the land down under. All right, I'm willing to try that. You want to do that? Or Down With The Sickness? I, think down I don't think I'm ready for Disturbed. Down Under. All right. Can we get some audio in here? We need a, we need a little bleed. Don't stop, don't, stop don't Stop Believing. That's a very hard song to sing. Don't Stop Believing. That will save that for our encore. All right, okay. Oh, oh. Men, da men Down Under, Men at Work is kind of a man kind of thing. I feel like I could have in my hand a little Foster's logger. Check, check. Check, check. We had to add a mic here, because I'm not... Uh, hey, can we get the difficulty down? Easy. I'm in no-fail mode. You know, the last time I did Rock Band, believe it or not, was with Jonathan Colton, Veronica Belmont on stage. Merlin Mann was there at the Fillmore. So I, uh, I have been... I have Rock Band with some of the best. But I was... I wasn't... I just wasn't good. I don't play it very often. Let's just, uh, just see how it sounds. Okay, now everybody, 
Sing along. Turn it up in the bleed in the studio. Traveling in the fight out combi. On a hippie trail and full of zombie. I met a strange lady. She made me nervous. She took me in and gave me breakfast. And she said, Do you come from a lot down under? Where the backing group? Where women glow and men plunder. Can't you hear, can't you hear the thunder? You better run, you better take cover. We're not a jam band, we're a jammy band. Brian Brett from a man in Brussels. He was six foot four and full of muscles. I said, do you speak my language? He just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. And he said, I come from a land down under. A little white cockpit. Where the beer flows and the wind and thunder. Can you hear, can you hear the thunder? You better run, you better take cover. Yeah. guys you're not a jam band you're a jammy band yes the jammy band well now how did we do oh we're going into the subway now because well we lost the gig all right what you want to do another one because I don't uh, by the way you guys you look marvelous you're, you're, you're really decked out for the holiday thank you did you did you party and then you came here after midnight that's the best thing to do who wants to sing mike elgin no 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 lisa can you sing amira can you sing no taylor you can't sing <laughs> hey, carly you, she can dance she certainly can sing and ladies and gentlemen did you get that out of the game uh, cupboard there they're gonna blow a hole you know remember you got to blow a plasma hole and then uh, and and then jump in shoot the sun then shoot the floor ah who is going to sing for us she good no <laughs> she, who's who's good over here 
All three of you are, are professional trained entertainers. Come on, come on. Would you, would you like to come over here? You could sing as a trio. Sonoma County Band, ladies and gentlemen. But that means they're real. They're performers. I bet you could do Love Shack. Would you like to do Love Shack? In the Carly, come here. Come here, Carly. Come here, Carly. Oh, wait a minute. We've got a real band. Come on over. You guys, are you drunk enough? No, no, not yet. But, but hey, well, we're getting there. What's the name of the band? The band's called Trebuchet. Trebuchet. Yeah, yeah and that, that, of course, is we uh, because we're geeks, we know, is a catapult. That's correct. It's going to catapult you to fame and fortune? Ancient weapon of war. Or an ancient weapon of war. That's, that's the hope. Okay. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Elliot. Are you also in the band? I am, yes. Indeed. Elliot. Paul. Paul. Lauren. Lauren. Jim. Are you in the band, Jim? You're their manager. He runs the place. All right, well, do we have another mic, or should they gather around the mic? We found our, our uh, tattoo artist for us. Jim, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. My butt is killing me. Do you know, is there anything I can do? Ice is... No, actually, we really appreciate it. Justin was amazing. And, of course, it's Faith Tattoo in Santa Rosa. And we were, we're going to we give him like $500 because he had to leave his house and he had to pack up his stuff and bring his assistant. So I gave him a $500 and he said, you know what? I'm giving $300 of it back to UNICEF. So he's a cool dude. And, you know, I work with the Phoenix and you guys are always very... Wait a minute. You also... Yes. You just... You threw in a little bit, I hear. I threw in a little bit because you yeah. support us over at the Phoenix. We love the Phoenix. And, we love you. and by the way, let's mention you got a great podcast. You and Tom... You and Tom do a great podcast. Well, I, I mean... That's a nice thing of you to say. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, and you interview some very interesting people. Maybe you'd like to come on sometime. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Why not? We got a tape. Okay. Right, here we go. So do you guys perform at the Phoenix ever? We have, yeah. That's a great venue. I love it. Yeah, we love it too. Just, just across the street. It's uh, it's where our kids go. We are now up to $57,184. That means if we get a really great performance out of Trebuchet, do you think we could get to $60,000? Well... You guys get to choose the song. Here, I'm, I'm going to give you the mic. Okay. All right. We have a second right. mic, so you figure out how do you right. want to share. That's all wow. we have, though. Um, <laughs> here we go. Boy. You and I can share. You, I can, you can hold. What song do we all know very Man well? Eater's pretty good. I don't, I don't, oh, you know that song. Boy. Well, Tenacious D, we could demolish, of course. Oh, Billy Joel right. is always a winner. <laughs> Never going to give you I mean, what do you, I mean, what do you feel comfortable? No, like, sweetest black metal. Oh, you want to try? Do you want to try? Don't stop believing. Oh. Uh, no. Nookie. Nookie by Limp Bizkit. One arm scissors. <laughs> We're gonna know when we see it. I think. Yeah. It's always entertaining to watch people scroll and Private read. Eyes by Hall Notes. Psycho Killer. Private Eyes could be pretty good. I mean, is there any like boys to men or? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so. I'm not sorry. Rock Lobster is very strong. It is a strong choice. Roxanne by the Police is very strong. That is a good choice. You can yell a lot with that one. If anybody else is looking at the screen, feel free to shout out to your favorites. Smoke on the water, strong. Space Oddity is like Jim, super strong for Jim an emotional. Space Oddity, Space Oddity. Space Oddity? I, don't you don't I don't really know that one. Ground Control well. to Major Tom? Oh, well, That's like the only yeah. part that I know. I know that part. Okay. Strengths. Okay. It's probably, um, you know <laughs> Time is Running Out by Papa Roach. Oh, God. You guys know Smashing Pumpkins. Total you know today. Tribute to the greatest song in the world. Total Eclipse of the Heart is really good. Tribute? 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 Wow. You know Tribute? Yeah. Sure. Wow. What train, Let's what try it out. Hey, what the hell? Why would you know, how would you not know that song? <laughs> tribute to Nation State. You like that? Let's give it a go. I think it's going to kick it up a notch. What do you think? Here we go. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> wow. This is great. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you know this? Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. Is there no part of this? I absolutely. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, no part for the keys. Okay. You gotta give them. A, you gotta let them see the screen and all that. I mean, sorry, we hijacked the show. Are we sorry? No, <laughs> we're not. I'll play this. Oh, and there's some Weezer. Oh, what's back to what's the Weezer? Weezer? Under Pressure by Queen, that's something. We all know Weezer, uh, though. Weezer. Okay, Everybody do Weezer. knows Weezer. Go to Weezer. Okay, okay hold on. Oh, is there a keyboard Weezer part? Weezer would be the great. Okay. Oh, the sweater song. Come on in, Carly. Join us. Come on, right here. It's Carly's favorite song. We have microphones. Here, here, here. Here, give me this. You guys, you guys do this. We'll take this microphone, please. Okay. I would like. Okay. Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll crowd around. Oh yeah. Happy New Year. Okay. Okay. We need more mics. Happy New Year, y'all. <laughs> Everybody doing good out there? Everywhere? Great. The room feels good. Feels good. Feeling right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Are we on the subway? Is that what's happening? Subway. Do we get do we get the spoken parts? Right. Do we get the spoken parts? Oh yeah, the spoken parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying bad things. Okay. Working. You know this. Some more monitor.
me. I'm not. I need a duet. <laughs> I need some assistance. I'm not doing this. Tribute by Tenacious C. I don't. Or something. Well, let's do Rock Lobster. Don't stop believing. Yeah, go ahead. Don't stop believing. Anthony, you need a mic. Get out there. Great. Come here. Come here. If you're going to wear pee kids like that, get out there. White weddings. Oh, I'm going to do the pee board again. Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots? That's kind of fun. You know. Don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. Yeah. Trinity, sure you want to come back for Don't Stop Believing? Yeah. Come on, get back here. Lisa, you want to join us on, on camera here? It's going to take forever to scroll up. <laughs> you going to join us? We're going to do Don't Stop Believing by Journey. Do you approve? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we are just so pleased. Like if you did with life, right? Oh, excuse me. I feel like if we did every one of these songs from A to Z, it would be a full 24 hours. So well, happy New Year, everybody! Here at Twit, uh, we'd like to invite Lauren Hale to the stage, but please. <laughs> You did, oh, Lisa, would you like to be in the background? Just in the background. Okay, okay. Here she comes. Does Leo want to join us? Oh, you want to? Really? For the night? Come on. You could just be, be you could be with us singing together in harmony. Every. In charming. In charming. In charming. <laughs> we need, we're going to need, we're doing Don't Stop Believing. We're going to start in three seconds. Two, and. Oh, and we boy. say. And we say. Took the midnight train going anywhere. Just a city boy, born and raised in South Detroit. He took the midnight train going
across. Come on, get in here. Oh, hands across. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it is Trebuchet and Company, the medieval torture implement. And you know, we just received another $500 donation to get you guys to stop singing. So, do stop singing. Ladies and gentlemen, we're 10 minutes, 9 minutes away from our very last countdown. We don't have anybody on Jarvis Island. I thought for sure we could send uh, Jeff Jarvis to the bird paradise, the bird sanctuary, and get that 3 a.m. countdown, but it ain't going to happen. But we are happy to be able to go to Hawaii and say hello to two of our greatest uh, friends of the network, uh, we're going to talk to Chebert and Father Robert. Now, they're both a little worried that they don't have a huge amount of bandwidth. We're going to do the best we can. It will be our last countdown. And I really want to encourage you, please, it's the last chance to get us above $60,000. I want to close the evening on a super high note. We actually have had the best evening ever. It's been so fun. The auctions close in 10 minutes. We're going to get those results for you at 2 a.m. Pacific, 5 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, don't forget to get in there and bid twit.tv slash NY, uh, I'm sorry, twit.tv slash eBay. There's some great stuff there. And, of course, your final donations. And I thank you all so much. Oh, somebody did the math. I saw it on Twitter. Based on the amount of money we've raised and the total number of donors, get this, you won't believe this, the average donation, $42. You guys, I think that goes way above and beyond anything that UNICEF has ever seen. I can tell you right now, they are extremely happy. I'm extremely happy, but there is still a few minutes. There are a few minutes to go to unicefusa.org slash unicefusa.org slash twit. Can I see that one more time? I just want to see what the, what the total is. 57,524. It'd be a shame to stop. We're so close. All we need is 2,500, 2,476, something like that, and we could get to $60,000. I would love to get there, and you can help us. Now, we're going to say, oh, my God, the moon is rising <laughs> over Kauai. I'm glad, I, I am glad I put on my sunglasses. You know, we really missed this guy. Father Robert, I am so sad that you weren't here for our 24 hours of 2015, because you are the heart and soul of the Twit Network. I know you had to be there, but I'm glad. But you if I was, if I was there, then I wouldn't be here on a balcony looking at some strange Japanese game show that's being filmed on the beach right now. Oh, well, you couldn't miss that. Exactly, right? Yeah. I mean, that's just how that works. Are you with family? Who are you with in the Hawaii? Yeah, my, my whole family is here, and uh, I, the reason why I'm on the balcony is because they're being incredibly loud in the, in the room, so <laughs> this is my space. Well, we love you so much, Robert, and we're going to try, I think we might be able to get Chebert uh, on the line, too. Of course, Robert, the host of This Week at Enterprise Tech, along with uh, Chebert, but Robert also hosts Know How on our network, Coding 101. He is such a big and important part of our team, and, and we just love him, and you really, I mean it when I say you are the heart and soul, and you must be oh. really gratified to see that in the last 23 hours, we have raised practically $60,000 for units. I, that's incredible. I don't believe, I don't, I don't know how you did it. And, and I actually don't believe that you promised to cut your hair and get a tattoo. Oh my well, goodness. Well, that's how I did it. I think we had to, <laughs> we had to give people some incentive to get in there and bid. Maybe not. You know, it's such a great cause. The, the children of the world are really uh, so precious, so innocent, and it, there's nothing that breaks your heart more than to see a child suffer, not just from hunger and malnutrition, but simple things, mosquito netting, vitamins, clean water, uh, an educational uh, opportunity. Those things make such a difference all around the world, and UNICEF donates 91%. 91 cents on every dollar you donate goes directly to those children. That's what makes it a four-star charity. And we chose it because it's global, because it's a great charity, and because we love children. Hey, I see Chebert kind of starting to... The, the, the other side of the moon starting to rise. Wait, Father Robert, you're kind of jammed in there with Chebert. I, no, kiss your left. There you go. Aww. Uh, I want you guys to do that in five minutes when it's New Year in Hawaii. What island are you on, Robert? I'm on Oahu. Oahu, the the uh, the mainland where Waikiki is. Absolutely. And, she, and Chebert, are you in Oahu as well? Yeah, I'm on Oahu. Okay, so we're both uh, on Oahu Island, uh, and uh, I know we have many Hawaiians who watch. 
Many of our favorite fans are on Hawaii, and so I, I, our, we're with you in spirit. We're going to do the countdown in Hawaii. And then, by the way, I just want to let you know kind of a little logistic thing. We will close out the auction. At, uh, those auctions are going to close out in four and a half minutes at twit.tv slash n... I'm sorry, eBay. Twit.tv slash eBay. Please, if you bid in the auctions, don't get outbid. Get in there. Make sure you've got the high bid because these are one-of-a-kind items. And we will total up the total amount from the auctions. We will add that amount to the total amount of cash raised. And I think we're going to get close to 70000 maybe even more, maybe $75,000 for this 24 hours of 2015. And that... It will bring a tear to my eye. It all is worth it. I've got to thank... And by the way, after we say Happy New Year to you guys and we let you go, we're going to put it to bed because our staff has been working so hard. Poor John Slanina, Jammer B. You should see him, Robert. He is exhausted. He's been working so hard. He's been here longer than... He looks great. He, <laughs> no, no, calm down. He's been longer here than I have. Uh, Carly Perkins, she's been longer here longer than I have. Uh, Debbie, uh, uh, she's been here longer. I mean, we, we just, our team is so great. Ryan Marsh. There's Chris. He's been here the whole time. He's just an intern. Greg, Ryan, there you are. Uh, you guys, there's Patrick Delahanty. We, we just, you work your butt off. Jerry Wagley, F and Dunn, Jason Cleanthus, our newest employee who was here every minute. And I just am so grateful. And he held my hand when I got my butt tattooed. And that was really important. And look at, ladies and gentlemen, we got to thank the producers of this show, the people who put the whole thing together. Karsten Bondi in the stripy uh, Paul Frank jammies. You're looking good with your sock monkey slippers. Uh, Carly Perkins. Uh, Tanya Hall, did Tanya go home yet? I think Tanya, we sent Tanya home. Tanya's been here for so darn long. Uh, and uh, Glenn Rubenstein, who did such a great job. Uh, Jeff Needles was here in a tuxedo. And I got to point out, Jeff flew in from Mexico the thir on the 30th. You haven't slept for 48 hours, so Jeff is here with the least sleep. Glenn, you look great. You look like Wee Willie Winky. I, I, who am I to call you Wee Willie Winky? I'm the guy who's dressed in the... Mike uh, Elgin and Amira Elgin, they've stayed this whole time. Mike, our, Mike is our quiz master and the host of TNT. So many great people. But right now, we want to go to the islands, to Oahu, where Chebert and Father Robert Balasair are here to count down the new year for you. Can I ask you, Robert, I, you're a man of uh, a philosophical uh, bent. What, what, what would you pray for in uh, 2015? What do you hope for in 2015? Stop messing with him, Chebert. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I think the one thing that we could all we could all ask for is just a little bit more patience and a little bit more understanding. A little more love. That covers it. Yeah. That covers it. Yeah, That's, I think you're right. But you know, this has been, if I may, channel Jerry Lewis, an evening of love. This man, this man here, this Father Robert, he is a man who loves. He is a lover. And this man Chebert, he is I don't know what. He's an astronomer. But anyway, <laughs> he and. And Grog, you're going to take the bullet for the team. The last cork pop goes to Grog hit in his jammies. Hit him? Hit him. You think I should hit him? Hit him hard. Gosh, you're really mean, Jeff Needles. We're one minute away from midnight. I'll do the countdown for you. But Father Robert and Shebert, if you would do me the honor of counting down, I'll start you. But you guys have to do the countdown. And I don't know if you've seen it all evening long. Robert, I saw you in the, the chat room. I think you might have seen it. We've got a balloon drop. This will be the last balloon drop. So everybody go ahead and pop those balloons when they come down. They're not going back up. But do take good care of the disco ball. We want to get that back in one place. Thank you very much. So here we are. We're about 40 seconds away from our final countdown of our 24 hours of 2015. One more time. Let me just look one more time and see how much money we've raised. I would sure like that to cross the $60,000 mark at uh, UNICEF USA. Come on, guys. You can do it. UNICEF. There we go. $58,000. We're getting we're getting closer. UNICEFUSA.org slash twit. 15 seconds to go. Let's dim the lights, everybody. The very last countdown as we say Happy New Year in Hawaii. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! Good night. Father Robert Ballasare, Chief Burton, we love you guys. Happy New Year to you. All the blessings of 2015. We 
are so grateful to have you as part of our Twitch family. All of you in the chat room Happy watching. Happy New Year, everybody. We love you guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Hawaii. Happy New Year, Terry Wagley. There's Taylor Karras. Many of our fans have stuck around. They've been part of it. Trebuchet. Thanks for the singing. Brock, did I hit you? Right in the elbow. Right in the elbow. Did it hurt? No. Not as bad as a tattoo on your ass. And there's the disco ball. Tukus. 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 Bye bye, Chebert. Bye bye, Robert. Celebrate with your family and loved ones. There it is. Beautiful Waikiki. And 2015 has finally covered the entire world in a brand new ah! <laughs> The moon rises over what Hey, have a great night, guys. Thank you so much for making it. We really appreciate your being here. All around the world, what a beautiful new year it has been. I am excited about 2015. I really am. Now, it's we're gonna wrap things up here in just a second. And the way we want to do it, I think this would be nice. We want to relax everybody just a little bit with a bedtime story. Bridget, are you up for a bedtime story? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Michael and Aiden... Go get the kids, okay? Going to sleep. <laughs> Don't wake them up. It's not time to go to sleep. It's time for the bedtime story. All right, we're going to... Where should I do the bedtime story? A ball in the background. All right, I'm going to read you a, a bedtime... A couple of bedtime stories. And we want to wind down... We want to get ready because these guys, it's time for bed. Auctions were twelve thousand two hundred and twenty dollars. We've closed out the auctions. Twelve thousand. Yeah, twelve. Say again, twelve thousand two hundred twenty. Two hundred twenty dollars. Uh, let us. We are going to keep this going. I am not going to stop until we get sixty thousand dollars. If you want to go home, and I want to go home, and you want to go home, please. If you haven't donated, just ten dollars. Go to UNICEF. USA.org slash twit. Everybody get comfortable. I thought there were a lot of children here. I thought there were a lot of... The children are, uh, in the, are here in their jammies. It's so, it's so important. I smell like it, but you know, I haven't had very much. I, 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 maybe that's the butt tattoo. You know, they, they dip it in alcohol afterwards. No. no? Right. I'll take a shower if, I, if I'm allowed to. I want to read you a book that I read my children, both Abby and Henry. Come on, Aiden. Come on, Bridget. Gather around. It's time for time to get sleepy. Come here. You gotta get sleepy, and the best way to get sleepy is with a bedtime story. Michael's already asleep. Is he? He fell asleep. That's all right, everybody. Gather around. He's like, I don't want to come out. Oh, okay. That's all right. Gather around, everybody, because I'm gonna read you. One of the best children books, children's books ever. It is Margaret Weiss Brown's Good Night Moon with pictures by Clement Hurd. Have you ever heard this story? Aiden, you're so, so, so tired. Yeah, you're so tired. Did you all, did you all have this story? This is Good Night Moon, okay? In your childhood, I know, and I read this to my children a million times. And there it is, there's the great green room. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of, let's see what there was a picture of, the cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs. Can you see the three little bears? Are there three of them, everybody? Yeah. Can you count them? <laughs> three little bears sitting on chairs and two little kittens. Can you find the kittens? And a pair of mittens, do you see those? And a little <laughs> toy house and a young mouse. Where's the young mouse? Did anybody find him? Where is he hiding? Do you see a young mouse? Yeah. There he is. No, your finger. This, where's the mouse? Can you find him? There he is. He's under my finger. Oh, my. And, <clears throat> and a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush. Do you eat mush when you go to bed? Sometimes it helps you sleep. Glenn, I think you do. <laughs> right now, I would think Glenn does. And a quiet... He must have gone home. Oh, yeah. And a quiet old lady. Everybody now, she was whispering, Hush. Lisa says, 
read it faster because I want to get out of here. <laughs> Good night, Moon. Say goodnight, no, Moon. Room. Br- room. <laughs> moon, room, what the heck? There we go. There we say. Good night, Moon. Good night, Cow, jumping over the moon. Good night, Light, and the red balloon. Where's that red balloon? Oh, there it is. Good night, Bears. Good night, chairs. The little bunny is getting ready for Betty Bye. Good night, kittens. Remember the kittens? Good night, kittens. Good night, mittens. Good night, clocks. And good night, socks. And good night, little house. And good night, little mouse. (laughs) You like it? I'm not okay with it. Yeah, okay. Well, you're stuck with it. <laughs> good night, comb. And good night, brush. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you'll get used to it. Good night, good night nobody. <laughs> Glenn, this is for you. Good night, mush. <laughs> good night, little mush. We had a whole big bowl, and now my tummy hurts, and I don't know. Uh, and good night to the old lady. Everybody, what is she whispering? Look at the little bunny. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. Good night. All right, all right. Now, do you all feel sleepy? You ready to go to bed? One more. One more. One more. What? Really? One more. All right, one more, but then we're going to end it. This one is a, is a story. I just love this story. We didn't read this to my kids. It's by Adam Monsbach. And it's called... Do you have the bleeper ready? No. No, no one's no. watching. No, just F. Go the f*** to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's look at this one. Did I wake you up? I'm sorry. <laughs> the cats nestle close to their kittens. The lambs have laid down with the sheep. You're cozy and warm in your bed, my dear. Please, go the F to sleep. Mm. <laughs> it's a little late. A little, little late. <laughs> it doesn't have as much impact, does it? The windows are dark in the town, child. The whales huddle down in the deep. I'll read you one very last book if you swear. You'll go the F to sleep. <laughs> seems to be putting waking them up i don't understand it every mommy and daddy feels this way all the time (laughs) the eagles who soar through the sky are at rest and the creatures who crawl run and creep i know you're not thirsty that's bullshit (laughs) stop lying lie the down my darling and sleep God. <laughs> Every parent. My favorite book. Yeah. It's the best book ever. The wind whispers through the grass, hon. The field mice, they make a peep. Not a peep. It's been 38 minutes already. Jesus Christ, what the f***? Go to sleep! <laughs> very special version of our children's story tonight. For those of you who stayed up late with us, all day, all night, we've been here. All the kids from daycare are in dreamland. The froggy has made his last leap. Hell no, you can't go to the bathroom. You know where you can go the f*** to sleep! Daddy. <laughs> That's the best dad ever. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard daddy say that bad word? No, you would never say that word, would you, Aiden? No, oh, it's a bad word. The owls fly from the treetops. Through the air they soar and they sweep. A hot crimson rage fills my heart. <laughs> Love for real. Shut the f*** up and go to sleep. <laughs> Aiden is dying. 
<laughs> we, we woke Aiden up. He was fast asleep. The Cubs and the Lions are snoring, rapping in a wrapping wrapped in a big snuggy heap. How come you can do all this other great shit, but you just can't go the f down to sleep? <laughs> 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 The seeds slumber beneath the earth now. And the crops that the farmers will reap, no more questions. This interview is over. I've got two words for you, kid. <laughs> sleep! <laughs> you think the child is getting sleepy yet? Not. No. The tiger reclines in the simmering jungle. It's hot there, right? The sparrow has silenced her cheek. Hear the crickets. Shh. Your stuffed bear. I'm not getting your. Shit. Close your eyes. Cut the crap. Sleep. <laughs> the flowers doze low in the meadows and high on the mountain so steep. My life is a failure. I'm a parent. Stop with me, please, and sleep. <laughs> this room is all I can remember. The furniture, crappy and cheap. You win, you escape, you run down the hall as I nod the f off and sleep. <laughs> Bleary and dazed, I awaken to find your eyes shut, so I keep my fingers crossed tight as I tiptoe away and pray that you are f asleep. By the way, notice he was reading Goodnight Moon. That didn't work either. <laughs> no, it did not. All right, we're finally watching our movie. Popcorn's in the microwave beep. Oh, sh Damn it. You gotta be kidding. Come on and go the f back to sleep. The end, and everybody, that is it for Twitch 25 hours, 24 hours of 2015. Let's, let us, one more time. One more time, we will check the tote board. And then, ladies and gentlemen, everybody is working so very hard. We're going to let them go home. Did you like that, Bridget? Can we refresh that? How much? What is the total amount we've raised? That's it. That's it. 58000 I guess Paul Therott skips that skips on that. He shoot, did. I said. Fit, we are so close. We're so close. $58,606. But you know what? We're going to keep that page open. And you know, anything could happen while everybody is going. So it could possibly happen that that could magically appear in the morning yeah. and be $60,000. You never know. We thank you all so very much. We posted um, 19 of the 24 hours. The rest will wait until after next We're going to let everybody go to bed. We're done. We've got yeah. the first 19 hours. Those That's were great amazing. hours. Thank you to our editors. Thank you to our staff. Thank you to everybody. Thank you, Karsten. Thank you, Carly. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Amira. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, John, Slanina. It has been a wonderful time. Should we do this again next year? Yes. No. Yes. 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 All right. Yes. What the heck? Yes. I, I still yes. have another yes. cheek. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We wish yeah. you the very happiest of New Year's in 2015. Peace, prosperity. There are a lot of children who are going to have a much better life because of what we did here tonight. Thank you so yeah. very much for your contributions. Making you my too. Sleep time story the best. <laughs> Good night, everybody, and Happy New Year!